In many videos that I've done, I've talked about how eating and carbs will knock you out of ketosis. But there's something else that's actually quite interesting and a lot of people don't realize this. And it has to do with MSG. Monosodium glutamate will definitely knock you out of ketosis. So let's talk about what MSG really is. It's a flavor enhancer. It's meant to make the food taste better than it really is. And a lot of times when you're eating foods that have MSG, you're gonna notice you're gonna be hungry about an hour after you consume that food. Some people have various reactions. They might get a headache. They might get itchiness. They might have blood pressure problems. They might feel nauseous. Some people are allergic to it. Some people retain fluid from it, as in monosodium glutamate, because it has sodium. Other people might get sleepy. And typically people associate that MSG uh, when they go to a Chinese restaurant. But it's also in a tremendous amount of foods that you would find at the grocery store. And they don't seem to list it as monosodium glutamate anymore. They list it as modified food starch or modified corn starch. Actually, there's a list of quite a few different names that they use, but it's in the chips. It's definitely in fast food. Okay, if you go to a fast food restaurant, it's in soups, ramen noodles, deli meats. Now, if you're doing dirty keto, which you're not really paying attention to the quality of food, and you're at a fast food restaurant, right? Um, well, guess what? There's MSG in that food. That can really knock you out of ketosis. Also, if you're doing uh, deli meats, for example, a lot of times they'll have dextrose, but they also put the modified food starch in there too. So even though it's low carb, it has MSG and that can knock you out of keto. Another food that has MSG is cottage cheese, unless it's organic. But you're gonna be shocked to find how many foods contain this chemical when you start to look at it. All right, now let's talk about the effects of monosodium glutamate in animal studies. But some people might say, oh yeah, it affects animals and rats, but it has no effect on our bodies. I don't know if you knew this, but MSG is one of the common chemicals that will cause an obese mouse when they do research. To fatten up that rat, they use MSG, okay? So, and you're thinking it has no effect on our bodies? Well, it may. All right, number one, it actually causes type two diabetes in my studies. Number two, high doses of MSG in small rodents will increase body weight and fat mass. And I already mentioned this, when you eject a mouse with MSG at birth, they become obese. You triple the amount of insulin. Number four, it creates oxidative damage or stress to the brain, kidney, uh, and thymus. It actually destroys the nervous system. And number four, it induces learning and memory deficits, as well as destroying the retina. Now, I remember about 25 years ago when my wife and I lived in San Diego, we would always go to this restaurant that had this amazing hot and sour soup. And guess what? It was loaded with MSG, but we were so addicted to it, we would go there and then within hours, we would notice that we'd just start retaining fluid. We would feel sleepy. We had to take a nap. So I really do believe that it does have effect on our bodies. But what I'm curious about is if you personally had any negative effects when you consume foods with MSG, comment below and let me know. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.